on that position or do you like what he's been doing with linebacker? Um, he's doing a good job at, at the position that he's at right now. Um, you know, we're looking at everything and all possibilities, but he's doing a good job. He's doing a good job where he is right now and has locked in. You don't want to mess with a kid too much, that's especially him, because he goes all in. Once he picks up something, he's got it. So uh, just want to still be comfortable because he's playing well. Last week you said you had to dial it back on Monday. Coach Taggart said that you know, got to give guys more. How do you find that balance between you know, not giving them too much but giving them too much? Exactly. It, it, is a, it is a delicate balance that you have to try to figure out. Uh, and you find that out throughout the course of the week of practice. Well, you know how, how much stuff you're calling throughout the course of the week. How many times are they actually doing it correct or not doing it correct, not doing it well. And, hey, they're just not getting this. So based on how much you throw at them early on, and how they're retaining it and being able to execute it is, is a big key in what you put, take in, and, 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 and put in and take out. There's been a lot of couch coaching going on from fans. You know, people saying if you should do this on defense, if you should do that. I guess how tough is it to make those in season in game adjustments? Uh, they're not that tough. I mean, it's what we do every every week. You know, you're studying the film. Um, you're trying to figure out what best fits what we do to stop what they're trying to do against us and then let the guys play. We have some talented football players here, so you don't want to over scheme them, you know what I mean? Let the guys go out and play, uh, execute, and when you do that, you'll give yourself a chance to win. What are, go ahead. The, go ahead. What are the challenges of facing a guy like Bryce Perkins who can get it done with his arm, get it done with his legs at a very high level? That's a big time challenge. You know, he's a good football player. Um, like you said, arm and legs, he can get it done. Uh, he's experienced, he understands their offense, where to go with the ball and all those type of things. So it'll be a big challenge at Virginia Forest. Coach, you were more multiple uh, last week. Did you see anything in the four-man four front you liked better than you saw in the three-man front the week before? Right. It, it was just a, uh, what they gave us and what they showed us, um, and we, what we tried, how we tried to attack it. You know what I mean? Um, uh, we, we, we're trying to get to the point where we can – the kids are like, bam, we're going we're gonna to notice. They don't anticipate what I'm going, going to call uh, because of what I'm calling throughout the course of the week in practice. And when you do that, you can have an anticipation of what's going to happen offensively against that and, uh, and be able to execute. How do you manage uh, the guys when they're not having the success they hope to have? Do you talk to guys individually, or how do you how do you manage that? Yes, you do talk to guys as as a group and individually. You come in, talk to them, see where they're thinking, what you know, what they like, don't like. You know, you you, you got to get some input from the players as well because they're the ones actually playing on the football field. And then when you have a you know, obviously Don Tavius looks like he had a moment of frustration on the field, like a five for personal foul. Um, what, what how do you how is that corrected or? or what, what kind of things can you do to Well, you, you, like you said, you talk to him individually. You let him know that that's not acceptable. And, uh, and you know, uh, you, you, your job is not just your job cemented in, in stone just because you're out there for us. I mean, we, we got enough guys here competition-wise that uh, you keep doing, you know, things that are, that are detrimental to the team that you'll be on the sideline and somebody else will be in the game. With that in mind, Coach, I have a lot of people or message boarders are asking they want to see freshman linebackers. Is that something that you guys will consider rotating some of those young guys in a little bit more this week? Well, not only freshmen, just guys that are competing out there. You don't just do it just to do it. You do it for guys that have earned it. And uh, those guys are really coming along. Uh, again, not only the freshmen, but some of the other guys are, are playing well, doing well in practice, and uh, they'll, they'll get their chance because they're earning it, not just because we're going to give it to them. Uh, coming into the season, everyone kind of seemed like – or at least felt like they understood their roles and understood what was going on. Um, have they kind of expressed, you know, something's not clicking or what's not working to you? Uh, no, not that way. They, they, they all have bought in. They're still trying to um, just perfect what they do, to be honest with you. And uh, week, week to week, you got a different offense. you got different things that's, that's, that's presented. And so they're just trying to all figure it out and get it done. They will, and, and we will. Through the years, I'm sure you've had situations where your defenses maybe didn't get off to the start they wanted, but then turned it around. What what was the key in those situations, and, and what can you call upon? Still keep believing in what in the process and, and what we do, and uh, and continue to work on the fundamental fundamentals and the techniques of your position. When you do that, and you just keep getting better at those things, then the execution happens for all 11 players. And when that happens, you give give yourself the chance to win that particular down and the series. And the game. Uh, last, yeah. oh, the week before against Boise, um, you know, it was gap soundness and you know alignment issues. Did you see any improvement in that regard? There was some improvement in that regard. Um, now we got to go in there and make the tackles when we got the gap sounds, gaps covered, and all that. Make a play.
you know, got to go make plays and, and, and get it done. But it was improvement. Do you intend to remain in the box? And how is that different working from out there compared to being on the field prior to? Yes, right now I will uh, stay up in the box. That's where I've been comfortable. That's where I've been my whole career. Um, and I can see more up that way, uh, up there. And uh, yes, I will continue to stay up there. Coach, you guys have defended the most plays in the country. You know, Virginia's a team that likes to control the ball and they, they lead most of the country in time of possession. I guess, how do you guys get off the field this week? We got to execute. Like I said, all 11 execute. We give ourselves a chance to win each and every play and then each and every series and then as you go throughout the game. So all 11 players must execute the defense, get it done, and get off the field. Are these sort of like the natural growing pains that you guys are kind of enduring from having to install something as kind of new and fresh as, as odd man fronts into what you guys are on? I would think so, yes. You know, um, uh, our, but the credit to our guys, they're, they're trying to work through the process. They're trying to get better because uh, everybody here wants to win. You know, if, if nothing else, every player you see come through, every coach, every support staff person, everybody wants to win. That's the one common goal for sure. And uh, so everybody's working towards that. Is there any sort of concept you lean on when, when it does come to on-man front, of, like like a Dick LeBeau system or Wade Phillips or one of those guys, something that you try to, to kind of emulate to some extent? I got you. There, there's some um, things that we're still looking at and talking talking about uh, and talking to different people about how they how they uh, operate out of the 3-4 uh, front. And uh, so we're getting better at it. Again, try not to do too much of it to the point where you can't get good at something. You know what I mean? So. Uh, we we have been uh, consulting with some other people. Is Perkins the guy that improvises a lot, or is it mostly within the system? The, the Say, quarterback, Virginia's quarterback. Oh, okay. Does, does he improvise a lot, or is it more just what they do their system? Um, what they do, and he, and he has some improvis improvisation in him. I'm, I'm saying that right. Yeah. Okay, um, but he he, he does improvise um, at times, obviously, and that's 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 what makes him good. You know, when things break down, he can make things happen with, with his legs and his arm. So uh, that's a tough tough. Tough player to deal with. Uh, last week with becoming more multiple and you know, kind of going back to what you guys used to do while still trying to add that in, did you see them kind of accept that better or was there a little confusion? Oh uh, no, I, I saw the guys just trying to go out there and execute and do their jobs. And uh and, and that's what we'll continue to try to do. When when you guys do different fronts from game to game, how, how much different are the responsibilities for like the linebackers or the defensive front, I guess, from Three, you know, out front, even. How much does that change? I You're guess? right. I mean, there there are different responsibilities and different ways to hit gaps, different reads, and things like that. So that's why you try not to make it too confusing for the guys, so they can go out there and just play ball. We got some talented football players here, and we want to see them go out there and let their abilities shine. The spot that Janaris and Josh kind of rotate between. What do you need to see from that position? Maybe not them specifically, but but how important is it to that position to, to produce to, to help everything else? Uh, you, you, <clears throat> what you like to see from that position, like you see from pretty much all positions is go out and, and get the job done at the position. But them particular, they, when they do come off the edge, causing, causing uh, issues off the edge, be it in the run game or in the pass game, and if they ever have to drop or anything like that, uh, getting in the passing windows, maybe getting their hands on some balls, maybe even a couple interceptions wouldn't hurt either. With those struggles, do you think the players are still confident that they can get the job done? I do. I do. We're start, about to start the ACC conference. Um, we're 0 and 0 in conference play right now, and our guys are excited about it. Every defense wants to create turnovers, but just with the way things have been going, is it is it kind of an easy fix to to really emphasize turnovers because that's the, the easiest way to, to help this defense get better? Uh, that's that's one of the ways to help it, obviously, and then getting off the field on third down and and just playing bell tackling better. All of that stuff works together uh, defensively, so it all works together.